Hello and welcome to English Parliamentary News. I'm Daddy Ramadan and this edition will present all the latest and interesting information around the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia. Household Committee of the House or BORT appreciates Men Padang Hospital as a provider hospital that catered the member of Parliament and their family as the member of the Jam Kestama Healthcare Program. Speaking at the working visit to Padang, West Sumatra, Vice Chairman of Household Committee of the House, Agung Budi Santoso, says Semen Padang Hospital has fulfilled the recruitment in perfect category as a provider hospital for Jam Kestama Healthcare Program in one of the biggest cities in Indonesia. Through this second visit to Semen Padang Hospital, the committee is certain for the facilities and services improvement for the VVIP member of Jam Kestama since the hospital has fulfilled the standard and recruitments. Kerjasama ini tentunya sudah memilih rumah sakit yang terbaik ya di Kota Padang ini atau di Sumatera Barat ini sehingga kita menjadi lebih yakin. Vice Chairman of Household Committee Novita Wijaya also assesses the condition of Semen Padang Hospital as a provider hospital for Jam Kestama program. The excellent facilities and complete service given by the hospital become the point plus for Semen Padang Hospital. She also hopes the hospital will keep improving their quality, such as by adding advanced medical equipment for patients with chronic disease. Dalam perjalanannya juga tidak ada masalah dalam masalah pelayanan, kemudian klaim uh, pembayarannya juga. Kemudian tadi kita juga menanyakan mengenai alat, alat juga sudah tersedia. From West Sumatra, Sifa and Julian, TVR Parliament Report. Commission 7 of the House pushed the government to issue a presidential instruction and ministerial regulations related to the utilization of biodiesel 20% as a fuel. The regulation is needed as the legal basis of absorption, production, and distribution of B20 program to the community so that the program could run successfully. Speaking at the specific Visit to East Java Province, a member of Commission 7 of the House, Nawafi Saleh, says the regulations should be based on the law number 22 of 2001 regarding oil and natural gas. Moreover, the agency that responsible to coordinate with the B20 program should be cleared as to whether the program will be run under the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources or Pertamina. Ini harus ada regulasi segera ya. Jadi regulasinya diatur, jadi supaya jelas gitu. Jangan uh, presiden udah memberi aba-aba, kita uh, di tingkat setapnya belum bisa menjabarkan itu. Saya juga mendorong supaya lebih cepat lah. Apakah itu dari apa Kementerian SDM terutama ya, kemudian Pertamina sendiri harus cepat tanggap apa yang disampaikan oleh presiden. Meanwhile, member of Commission 7 of the House, Ivan Doli Gultum, states the utilization of the biodiesel 20% needs to be regulated in the renewable energy law since it is a new invasion that useful for reducing crude oil import. Furthermore, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resource should take the responsibility to coordinate with other institutions so that the B20 program could be brought to success. Energy baru terbarukan ini. Karena tanpa mengetahui semua pengetahuan yang berhubungan dengan biodiesel dari hulu ke hilir, bagaimana membuat rencana undang-undangnya? Apa tunggu ada masalah terjadi? Masalah ini meledak, masalah itu terjadi, masalah ini. From East Java, Hilman Hidayat and Ferdian, TVR Parliament Report. The issue of the budget allocation for urban community budget in the 2019 proposed state budget gets positive response from various factions in the House of Representatives. However, the proposal still needs to be given legal protection as the policy base so the policy will be in line with the Constitution. Speaking after the Legislation Forum, Vice Chairman of Commission 8 of the House, Aceh Hasan Sajili, says the urban community budget proposal arises due to similar problems experienced by urban community with the villages. Related to the distribution mechanism, Aceh Hasan suggests two options. First option is to make it similar to distribution of village funds, and the second is by revising the regulation regarding sub-district and urban community since the urban community is still operating under the supervision of sub-district governance. Pada bagian tertentu itu sama dengan apa yang dialami oleh masyarakat pedesaan. Misalnya seperti yang saya katakan tadi soal persoalan kemiskinan 
di pedesaan itu sama juga dialami oleh masyarakat uh, di perkotaan. Kita tahu bahwa misalnya angka kemiskinan di uh, perkotaan itu uh, angkanya bisa sampai 10,4 juta. Artinya The member of Commission 8 of the House Yandri Susanto also supports the proposal. However, the non-existing legal protection as the execution basis still become the main problem for this policy. Therefore, Yandri suggests the government to make regulation regarding this matter, since the revision of the law will take a long time to make before the policy can be implemented. Tinggal regulasinya dibuat, kemudian juklak juklisnya dibuat, sehingga nanti rupiah per rupiah dari dana yang dikelontorkan dari APBN itu bisa dipertanggungjawabkan oleh pelaksana anggaran di tingkat kelurahan. Nurfu Atriduan and Ferdian, TBR Parliament Report. Commission 6 of the House demand the government to use the traditional market development budget evenly on a right on the target in order to support local production and boost state revenues. Speaking after the meeting between Commission 6 of the House with the Ministry of Trade and Business Monopoly Supervisory Commission or KPPU in Nusantara One Building, Jakarta, Vice Chairman of Commission 6 of the House, Muhammad Haikal, says Ministry of Trade should improve their contribution in promoting export and not only importing raw materials and foods that cause more burden to state finance in the middle of ongoing global economic crisis. Moreover, Haikal adds the traditional market development program that targets the establishment of 5,200 markets with the estimated total budget as much as 1.7 trillion rupiah in span of five years' time must have an economic value that could become the promotional tools for local businesses and trade distribution controllers. Sepertiganya itu kurang lebih jatuhnya untuk pembangunan pasar. Itu memang uh, sesu suatu program yang dicanangkan oleh pemerintah sekarang untuk membangun 5.000 pasar dan menurut apa yang disampaikan itu uh, akan terbangun 5.200an pasar selama 5 tahun. Meanwhile, the member of Commission 6 of the House Hamdani states the traditional market development in 2018 is almost completed in some provinces, regions, and cities in Indonesia with a development budget up to 6 billion rupiah per market. Kalau 2018 ini dalam dalam uh, pelaksanaan ya. Dalam pelaksanaan di beberapa provinsi di Indonesia sudah dalam pelaksanaan dan anggaran satu pasar itu berkisar hampir 6 miliar rupiah dan sudah dilaksanakan pembangunan di setiap kabupaten atau daerah-daerah memang yang tidak berbenturan dengan aturan pemerintah daerah dan tanahnya adalah milik pemerintah daerah. Ajib Divo and Ferdian TVR Parliament Report. To create modern and accountable parliament, Vice Speaker of the House Agus Hermanto hopes DPR Now application can be a medium to enclose Indonesian and its representative in the parliament. Speaking after the socialization and workshop event of DPR Now application in Abdul Muiz Room, Nusantara Building, Jakarta, Vice Speaker of the House Agus Hermanto appreciate step taken by the Speaker of the House Bambang Susatyo who initiated the concept and launching of DPR Now application. Agus Hermanto explains this application shows live broadcast of meetings on the House via television and radio of Parliament. He adds the PR now application also facilitate the public to make complaints directly to the house. According to Agus Hermanto, DPR now is very important to show transparency of parliament's performance to the public. Nantinya bisa dipakai sebagai sarana untuk meningkatkan komunikasi antara DPR dengan konstituennya. Jadi tadi juga ada yang nanya bagaimana dengan kehadiran yang tidak ini. Nanti konstituen akan bisa uh, mengeklik, mengecek apakah DPR-nya itu ada di DPR atau tidak, sedang rapat atau Speaking after being one of the speaker in socialization and workshop of the DPR Now event, member of Commission 11 of the House, Muhammad Misbahun states the DPR Now is a positive response from the leaders of the House to facilitate the community in conveying their aspiration both in form of input and criticism directly to the parliament. Ms. Bahun says DPR now can also be accessed anytime and anywhere through gadget by the community to find out the latest development and information from the House. This application is important to show transparency and accountability of the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia. Apa saja kegiatan masing-masing komisi, sehingga dalam genggaman mereka, mereka tahu apa saja yang sudah dilakukan oleh anggota DPR. Launchingnya sudah berjalan sangat bagus, uh, Rakyat sudah bisa lebih memahami 
termasuk laporan-laporan eh, hasil rapat itu bisa diketahui oleh masyarakat secara luas. Oki Tegu Nafi TVR Parliament Report. The member of Committee for Interparliamentary Cooperation of the House, Irina Yusiana Roba Putri, invites all members of Parliament around the world to unify in combating problems faced by migrant workers. This is important as the settlement of migrant workers' problems cannot only be solved from the country of origin, but also the same efforts are needed from the recipient country. In the 139th Assembly of Interparliamentary Union held in Geneva, Switzerland, Irena Yusiana Roba Putri says the Indonesian migrant workers are one step ahead compared to other countries since Indonesia already has a clear legal base that protects immigrant workers. However, migrant workers still face a very severe problems such as improper salary payments, violence, and even human trafficking. Therefore, Irena invites all parliaments around the world to combat the problem faced by immigrant workers by aligning the perspective so that all countries can convert its law and make law that could protect all migrant workers across the world. Kalau dari dalam negeri sendiri tentu uh, yang perlu dilakukan adalah pembekalan SDM itu sendiri, tetapi uh, untuk di dalam hal uh, dua negara itu adanya kepastian hukum ataupun perjanjian uh, terhadap itu ini akan sangat membantu Further, Irena Yusiano Robaputri argues the House does not only strive from within Indonesia in overcoming the problems of migrant workers, but also invites the recipient countries of worker from Indonesia. For that, Irena invites all MPs participants from IPU to be more responsive toward the issue of migrant workers, because even though the migrant workers are illegal at the moment, the challenges which they face in the field are still very hard. Karena itu tadi ajakan dari Indonesia untuk seluruh anggota parlemen dunia itu sangat aware terhadap isu ini. Karena yang terjadi saat ini migrant workers kita walaupun itu sudah legal, diterima ada surat-suratnya izinnya tetapi tantangan di lapangan itu masih sangat berat. From Geneva, Switzerland, Saiful Anwar and Afi TVR Parliament Report. Commission 9 of the House encourages the Workers' Social Security Agency or BPJS Ketenaga Kerjaan South Kalimantan Branch to enlarge its participant up to informal workers through the socialization of benefits that participants could gain from joining the program. Speaking during the specific working visit of Working Committee of Workers' Social Security Agency to South Kalimantan Province, Member Commission 9 of the House Norman Shah Tanjung expresses the Workers' Social Security Agency needs to give serious attention to the participants from informal sector since the current community awareness to become the participants of workers' social security is relatively very low. Norman Shah demands social security agency to increase the number of socialization to the community both through direct socialization and the media in order to spread the information regarding the benefits of joining the program overt by the agency. Uh, yang menjadi concern uh, kami sebenarnya kan uh, adalah soal kepesertaan. Nah, soal kepesertaan ini berdasarkan uh, apa? data BPJS angkatan kerja Indonesia itu kan ada sekitar 146 juta jiwa gitu ya. Furthermore, the member of Commission 9 of the House Shamsul Bahri pushes the Workers Social Security Agency in South Kalimantan to increase partnership with other organization in Indonesia. Regarding to partnership with banking institution, Bahri considers the proposal as a very good move where workers can gain capital assistance from the bank as one of the benefits of joining the program. Itu masih question mark ya. Uh, kerjasama selama ini antara BPJS dengan perbankan dalam rangka uh, pemanfaatan dana-dana yang terkumpul. Dimanfaatkan di bank dan sebagainya dalam surat berharga, pembelian saham dan sebagainya. From Seoul, Kalimantan, Helmi Darmawan and Afi, TVR Parliament Report. Related to the high price of basic commodities such as chili, onion, and rice, the Commission 6 of the House criticized the strategy to basic commodities price control which is conducted by the Ministry of Trade. Speaking after a working meeting with the Ministry of Trade and Business Monopoly Supervisory Commission or KPPU, the Vice Chairman of Commission 6 of the House, Muhammad Haikal, says the increasing price of basic commodity is caused by scarcity. 
Thus, to overcome the scarcity, the government needs to import commodities. However, the scarcity claim was contradicted with the data from the Ministry of Agriculture, where it states that the Indonesia still has an abundant food stocks. Muhammad Haikal also regrets that there is still disparity in data between ministry, which has impacted the trade balance. He continues to add, independence from agricultural sector must be started from the fair information and transparency in managing the production and distribution of trade balance. Sehingga yang kami simpulkan adalah data antara Menteri Pertanian ataupun Menteri Perdagangan, begitu juga dengan uh, Bulog ataupun dengan Menteri Perindustrian, kadang-kadang Uh, mereka nggak sepakat, uh, akhirnya adu klaim. Nah, tentu kita sebagai uh, wakil rakyat sangat menyayangkan hal ini. The member of Commission 6 of the House Hamdani says the El Nino phenomenon that often occurs has impacted the production of foods and horticulture in Indonesia, which also causes increasing price on basic commodity in the market. For that, the Ministry of Trade and Ministry of Agriculture must cooperate in creating the conversion of forest to productive agricultural areas. Terjadi perubahan cuaca ini ber, ber, berimplikasi kepada uh, hasil daripada uh, produktivitas dari horticultura. Ajib Divo and Afi, TVR Parliament Report. And that rounds up this edition of English Parliamentary News. On behalf of all the crew of TV Parliament, we would like to thank you for your attention. And we will meet again in the next edition of English Parliamentary News. From me, Dede Ramadan, once again, thank you for watching and goodbye.